In a tranquil Indonesian neighborhood, the Halo House stands quietly in the corner, resembling a modern barn. It is carefully designed to align with the existing trees on the site, utilizing a passive design approach. The house consists of two main elements, elongated pitched roof structures along the north-south axis and a thin platform connecting them, punctuated by circular voids where existing trees are located, defining the courtyard. These circular voids, referred to as halo, become distinctive features, allowing natural light to permeate the house and shaping the rainwater. The exterior of the house is predominantly clad in charred black wood, created through the Shosugi Ban method, ensuring durability against weather, termite resistance, and fireproofing. This dark exterior imparts a serene and contrasting presence to the circular light emitted by the halos. To counterbalance the darkness, the interior features wooden furniture, raw concrete walls, and polished concrete floors. The material choices also cater to the specific needs of the residents, a young couple with three children allergic to fur or wool leading to the exclusion of carpets in favor of handmade custom tiles. The house layout is thoughtfully designed to create multiple layers of indoor and outdoor spaces, providing each room with access to air and light on two sides. A quick announcement. If you find this video insightful, do support us and join our community of home enthusiasts alike. It will be reinvested to better research and videos. Now, back to the tour. Upon arrival at the entry carpool, a wide concrete ceiling platform with a halo and a large wooden screen greets visitors, separating public and private areas. The dining area serves as the centerpiece, connecting to the courtyard, swimming pool, and kitchen. The swimming pool is situated between indoor and outdoor spaces, partly sheltered by the haloed concrete canopy. The living room, with access to the west courtyard and the pool, sits close to the dining area. The stairs to the second floor, functioning as both railing and structure, act as a sculptural element in the living room. The house incorporates a passive design strategy, with the second floor massing on the west side providing shade in the afternoon. The west facade is solid, allowing light and air through the wooden screen in the west courtyard and the stairs. On the east side, a wooden screen acts as a double skin, filtering the morning sun and casting intriguing rays and shadows into the corridor. Operable wooden screens open up to rows of circular roof gardens and halos, creating a dynamic interplay between greenery and voids. We will now do the rest of the tour. Sit back and enjoy. Sight drawings at the end.
Thanks for staying till the end. If you find this video helpful in any way, please feel free to like and subscribe.